Don't forget to follow me here and here and here and here and everywhere. Links will be in the description box below. Yeah! Uh, come on, Vegeta! We need to do this now! What? Where are you? Let's see if your head crushes just like the rest of them. Fine, I'll do the stupid future dance. <laughs> Fusion! They did it. I Incredible. I am not Goku, nor am I Vegeta. I am Gogeta. It's over, Broly. I come for you. Hello everyone, I hope you guys enjoyed that stop motion, it took me forever to do it and the fusion dance was really really hard to do only because I had to have them synchronized with each other but I think it came out great. It did, it looked pretty flawless. Thanks. You're welcome. So I'm going to be doing the review on the Dragon Ball Super, the movie Broly, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Gogeta. I posted a picture of this guy on the community tab and there was a lot of controversy on what paint apps I used for this figure. Guys, this is my figure. I can paint it however I want. If you guys don't like the paint apps, do it yourself. <laughs> I like it, Dave. <laughs> Anyways, what we're gonna do is take this figure off the stand, let's take a good look at accessories, and take a good look at, at this, this figure. figure. Before we look at this figure, we're gonna take a look at the accessories. He does come with a reissued Final Flash, a Big Bang Attack, and a Kamehameha and a Kamehameha ball. A weird thing is that the Kamehameha ball did not come with the foil sticker to give it a more shining effect. And then you do have open grip hands, a yelling base form face, a stern base form face, a yelling blue face, a stern blue face, and some fists. So taking a look at this figure here, he looks really good. Um, I only added shading. The skin tone is still the original. And then I wanted the shoulder pads or whatever you call it. I wanted it to look like the movie. So I put some fluorescent yellow on it and a little bit of a hint of orange. Because um, I really wanted to capture the artwork done in the movie. I also outlined his eyes and added some shading. Minor shading throughout the pants. And then... Um, with the socks and the belt was a uh, hand brush shading. Can't so I, tell. You can't tell. I can tell. Dry brushing over here. Okay, now you pointed that out. Dry brushing tell. here. Dry brushing here. Dry brushing here. Over here. Here. Over here. Yeah. <laughs> um, damn it. Anyways. Yeah, he looks great. And then let's look at the Super Saiyan Blue. And I wanted to capture the, the hair color from the movie. So if you guys are wondering, I use Createx Transparent Blue. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty freaking cool. Hey, what the heck are you doing here? Oh, from the shelf, really? You don't know how to wave? Get out of here! Anyways, here you go. And if you're wondering how the faces change, the both heads are the same. It's a repaint. Um, you got the yelling face over here. There we go. So that's pretty cool. So I do have some minor issues with this figure. Um, as you can tell, you can have this whole jacket come off. So you can have him shirtless. And I'm pretty sure this will be the body for the Ultra Instinct Goku. The legs are re reused as well. The only issue that I have, I'll get to that. Uh, articulation, he looks up, good. Looks down, good. Side to side, good. His arm goes out, good. Bicep swivel, good. Single bend at the elbow, which is greater than 90 degrees. He has a butterfly joint and this flap comes upward, so that way he is able to punch across, which is very good. He has a swivel at the wrist and a hinge because it is on a ball peg. 
Um, now this is the issue. He does not have ab crunch whatsoever. His abs is in the way. So he has a minor crunch at the lower part of his waist. But the upper there is no crunch. So that is my biggest issue with this figure. Other than that, articulation in the leg is great. Goes up about that high. Does the splits very well. Has a single bend at the knee but it is greater than 90 degrees. And then he has a hinge and a swivel. Actually he just has a hinge and a swivel, boot cut swivel here. Um, but yeah, that's my only gripe about this guy is that I cannot get his abs to crunch. Alright, what the hell are you doing here? Get out of here! Anyways, if you guys are wondering, this uh, is how he looks without the jacket. So, I did do the shading underneath the jacket as well, as well as his back. But I am not going to keep taking off the jacket because the pegs might war wear out and end up breaking. So, probably just going to leave the jacket on. But this is just for if you guys were wondering how he looks like. He looks like Kazuya from Tekken. <laughs> and then Super Saiyan Blue. That's how he looks like without his jacket. And I'm pretty sure this will be the Ultra Instinct body here. In the end, tell me what you guys think about this figure. I really do like this figure a lot. If you guys are wondering where I got it from, there isn't really a website. I mean, you can find him on eBay, and JP Toys is selling him on eBay as well, so check it out. But uh, yeah, I didn't get this from a website. JP Toys YouTuber sent this to me. He's a great YouTuber, so check his channel out and subscribe to him or else. And I know there's a lot of issues with you. some of you guys that don't like these paint apps. But who cares? This is my figure. I do what I want. If you guys have any other questions, comment below the box. If you have not had the time yet, holy crap, almost forgot. Check out the dub up on Instagram because he voiced everybody on the stop motions. He always does a phenomenal job. So follow him on Instagram and stop on following him for those that keep on following him. Follow him on Instagram. But he's always doing epic voices and also check us out on all of the franken franken culture social media i don't know why i have such a hard time talking today because you woke up super early to do this <laughs> review yeah i know anyways check us out on all the franken culture social media and follow us there too where i'm always posting pictures before the videos so if you want to be one of the cool kids on the block do so and if you have not liked this video or subscribed to my channel yet, I suggest you do, for I'm always posting up cool content like these. Thanks for watching, guys, and have, have a, a great, great day. day.